yeah hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's great to see you guys again in another video welcome back all right i know it's been a while I have been making promises that I have not been keeping with this channel, but I do apologize. Life. <laughs> That's all I can say is really life. But I am back with monthly readings and guess what? We're just going to keep it going and keep it moving. Just ignore the phone. <laughs> Today's readings, we are going to be talking about October 2022 readings. Um, and if this video resonates with you um go ahead and share it like follow comment and subscribe and yeah more readings are coming towards your way we are making it happen please enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye can you see me like okay let me change make sure my focus is good. Is this ASMR? Your tarot cards for today. Mm. I can do this. Oh, I look good. Some more. Ooh. Do you have vegan chicken tenders? Yeah. Uh-huh. How long will it take to order deliver? Or should I just go come pick it up? All right. Let's just go ahead and get into the tarot readings for October 2022. I know it's been a while. It's, it's been a while since you've seen me. Um, I know I was supposed to be back, but that's not the point here the point is we're getting messages for October and guess what it's spooky season and you know what I'm, I don't like when people say spooky season I just feel like we're more in tuned and there's a lot of people out there with readings and stuff like that so thank you guys so much for following liking and waiting on me okay I'm sorry I just placed an order so I'm gonna eat something all right, let's just go ahead and get into it for Aries. What can we see for Aries of October 2022? Huh, my deck is on today. My deck is decking. I can put the deck. Aries, Aries, Aries. What is on the roster? What is the forecast for Aries of October 2022? And October is my favorite month to wear pink. I get it because of also breast cancer awareness in America. But also October is just pink, you know. Maybe the birthstone because the birthstone is pink. But I love it. Mm -hmm. One more shot. Let's see. Just going to place some out. Aries. Okay. I know I'm working on my camera, guys. Hopefully you guys can see me properly. Let's see what is going on with Aries. Hmm. Interesting. Final card. I'm going to honor the one that's up. I have two that's up right now. Okay. No page of cups was already there. <laughs> Let me guys get you guys some oracle cards out. Let's see what's going on there. We're doing the butterfly changing oracle deck. An oracle card for Aries. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, and an oracle, a goddess card, a goddess card. Okay, 
and a message you need to hear from the universe. Let's see, maybe one wants to speak to us. Alright, so Aries, October 2022. I'm a little bit rusty right now because I have been taking a break from doing readings, but follow me if you will. If this message resonates with you, please like, comment, and follow down below. And yeah, and also if you want to book a private reading, my private readings have opened up for October 2022. Also, this is my third year, so I'm pretty excited about that. Let me make sure my eyelash. All right. So the, the message that you got from the universe is when I lean toward love, I am led. So that is the card for you. Sorry if you cannot see it. We're working on everything. Um, your goddess is Sketment. And what her um, purpose is wounded healer. I'll put all this information down below for you. And the changing card that you are getting is moving. So there's a lot of things happening with you guys. And I can see what's actually happening with these tarot cards. The first tarot card that you got was the Four of Pentacles. Aries, Aries, Aries. There is some things going on. I don't know if you're just keeping things to yourself. But you're not giving, you're not giving yourself what you need to be giving. I don't know how to say it. It's like, you know, it's giving. You know how people say it's giving? Well, when I see the Four of Pentacles upright like this, it's usually someone who is just trying to hold on to every single thing. You may be holding back from something. You could be holding back from a potential thing that could be profitable for you. Um, but I do see that it is time. The reason why is because this card, Ten of Wands, which shows up, Ten of Wands is on top of it. You guys have been working hard. Now, this could mean you have been saving your money because you have been working hard, or it could mean you're overworking yourself. Ten of Wands is definitely coming through. You are taking the brunt of it. Aries are the first of the zodiac signs. You love to do things your way the first time. So I can see you in business and leader roles, but at the same time, at what cost? Some things that you're blocking also too, you could be blocking blessings by not doing or what you need to do. Mm -hmm. On a positive note, Four Pentacles usually means someone who is saving or taking care of business. Um, if it was reversed, it could be someone who is not taking care of business as well. And it could be someone who, with greed. Um, Four of Pentacles always needs to be looked at being careful because someone could be greedy or you could be greedy as well. We just don't want to close the path for you to actually grow. That's the only thing that I don't worry about the Four of Pentacles because you have to open yourself up. I'm just going to say this Aries and this is just coming to my mind. You got to spend money to get money. I don't know if that resonates with you, but you got to you got to open up. You got to give to receive. You understand what I'm saying? You can't always give, give, get. I mean, take, take, take. You know what I mean? And I don't really see that a lot with Aries because Aries love to give. But at the same time, um, I'm not saying you're one of the selfish zodiac signs. But at this time, I do see a lot of things are coming through where it's just like, you know what? I'm going to keep my peace and keep my mind out there um, because no one else deserves it. But you deserve, and I understand that. Uh, one thing about Aries is that they're not going to let anyone disrespect them. I know a lot of I know a lot of zodiac signs have this you know thing where they like let people treat them how they like you know just because of love. But Aries is not going to let you treat them any type of way and let you get away with it. You're the type of zodiac sign that does not do that. In your goals, in your goals, I do see the Ace of Pentacles coming through. Ace of Pentacles energy is coming through. You have some goals. You want a new beginning, and this is great for an Aries because you guys love new beginnings. Um, the only problem is we have to finish what we start as a fire sign. I know that's hard because you have that impulsiveness of doing it until it's no longer important for you. So that is something that we need to work on as well. Two of Pentacles is about balancing. I keep getting all these Pentacles. So money is a good thing. Foundation building. 
Um, you got the center for pentacles coming through. So that's foundational things. And ten of wands is hard work. You put in the hard work and it's time for you to receive those benefits, Aries. So keep that in mind. Page of Cups is saying your ideas are flowing to you. Is something no longer working for you? Do you need this creative outlook? Are you ready for something else? Page of Cups is definitely pouring out your emotions and Aries don't hold back from their emotions. As a matter of fact, Aries will cry and Aries will let you know how they feel and they cannot sit here and just like, you know, pretend for anybody because they have to express themselves, even if they express themselves first. So it's important for you to get that out there. Um, I see six of cups coming through and your influence is past history. You're done being treated any type of way. Um, Aries will hold it out, like especially when it comes to relationship. But at the same time, they are going to find a way to like, you know, get what they need. And it's just a determination. It's kind of like when you're in a race, the race is hard. And when you're working, the working is hard. And sometimes you get hurt. Six of Cups in reverse is something traumatic, you know, you want to escape from. Or where are you running from? What are you trying to hide? Is this the reason why you're so, like, four pinnacles tight on stuff? Um, looking at personal aspect, it's like we're holding back and we no longer should be holding back. It is time for you to move and time for you to get some things done, Aries. And when you are, they were like the universe says, when I lean toward love i am led and you guys are the leaders you were the leaders of the zodiacs you're the first ones usually to get into a leading position mm -hmm. but also you're very competitive as well six of cups your six of cups answer is saying that this is an awesome and answer three of cups i'm sorry i said six of cups sorry three of cups energy is a great one because you got to surround yourself from like with good people aries make great friends because they want to tell you the truth but at the same time they're only doing it for your best interest sometimes they may be rude about it and they may be disrespectful about it because sometimes it's hard for them to catch on if someone's feeling a certain way but when it comes to gift giving and money giving they try their best to make stuff happen. So three of cups energy is definitely giving like surround yourself with the right people to open you up a little bit more. Cause I do feel like there's a tightening this when it comes to Aries right now, you seem to move wounded healer. The goddess wounded healer is coming out at me. It's like, you know, we're, we're healing, but at the same time we are, we're careful. We're careful how we move Aries. Aries usually jumps and usually goes directly for something. But I do see that this is a different energy for Aries. You guys are not giving a lot of movement coming through. So that's interesting. Eight of Wands is saying it is time to move, though. I don't know what's holding you back, Aries, but it is time to move. I don't know exactly what is it. Is it money? Is it People, is it balancing jobs? Is it something for you? You need to get out of the situation that no longer suits you. And you need to get the process going, whether it's taking one step day by day. Um, I know as a fire sign, we like to be impulsive and like to get everything done because we can be impatient. But at the same time, you have to you have to do what's best for you even if you move one thing a day my i have an i had an educator or professor who always told me if you do at least one thing a day per year it's 365 things you have done for your career in a whole entire year which is amazing so i am getting that energy from you five of wands is also coming through in your environment there are people trying to test you i'm not going to lie there are people the outer emotions or um inner emotions that you're receiving or the emotions in your environment is coming through the same people are trying to test you. And as an Aries, it's easy for you to get into certain situations you should not be in because of your passion and the fire that you're in and the fire sign that you are. So it's not surprising that Aries would get into a fight or an argument with someone or a conversation with someone because you're very passionate and competitive in what you do. But you need to watch that energy. Aries have so much potential to do something and be great, but there's a lot of things that are blocking you. You could be blocking your chakra of receiving and giving because you could be held back because you've given so much before. It could be people in your life who have been testing you and they no longer should be there. And that's why the Three of Cups is saying to surround yourself with the right people. You cannot be with someone who is not doing. You cannot 
feel you cannot give someone an idea who has never done i want to open up my own business but you're talking to someone who's never owned a business and they are doubting you so that's where you're getting angry at because you feel like you don't have support no you're in the wrong place and that's why the cards are telling you to move aries and it is time to move for you the last final card is saying hard work dedication you got two cards coming through Eight of Pentacles is coming through, and that's a great card because it's saying it's time for you to get dedicated. Aries, stay focused. Yeah, I don't care if you have to take attention. I don't care if you have to. I'm just getting making sure I'm getting everything I want to say right. I don't care if you have to, like, you know, distance yourself from people who are taking away your attention. If, people, if you have to study and people ready for you to go outside and be outside for the last months where it's warm you know focus yourself and it's really a great time for you to focus Aries it's really time for you to focus and you'll get a lot of things done I will say this though nine of cups came up and this is something that you need to be aware of too Aries Aries can get jealous I'm not going to even lie Aries they're very competitive so when it comes to co competition when I see the nine of cups like this you have seen other people getting your blessings where's my blessings at it is right there but you got to get out of other people's lanes Aries and stay in your own lane I know that you're a very competitive sign we love a good Aries around here they make good friends but at the same time are you doing what you need to do or are you aligning yourself with people who are need to be aligned with um and also this could not this doesn't only have to be you it could be someone else in your circle who is jealous of what you're doing who does not like that you're moving and you're moving outside the box that's a big thing too aries so watch out for that okay all right aries um this is all the messages that i have for you enjoy your october october number 10 um, the month of number 10 completion is coming through 10 of wands is coming through overall I do see a lot of movement and moving for you guys do not hold yourself back use your create creative ideas you used to be so creative Aries what happened you were around the wrong people everyone needs to realign themselves this year 2022 is about change and it's about things that have to end in order for it to perceive as well so we need to move we need to heal you need to if you can't forgive because I know that's hard for a fire sign or hold a grudge at the same time you got to keep it moving okay you got to keep it moving be around people who are right there for you not who are arguing with you take criticism as is and just leave it as that do not get yourself in a predicament where people are going to try to take you out because guess what Aries you have something to lose other people who don't care about their time their energy going to jail and all that other stuff they don't care about that but you should care about that so keep it under control I know it's hard for an Aries all right, Aries, I will see you in November. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.